So I got notice from some of our local health folks that um, they could use some help with some of the personal protective equipment gear. Um, I figured I would be best suited to help with some of the face shields that they use rather than trying to sew some face masks. So I'm just gonna walk you through what I did here and then uh, if this turns out to be relevant, then you can use this for yours. So I just created a simple image here in Illustrator with some slots for uh, one inch webbing uh, that could be used to uh, tighten the acrylic mask against the face. Uh, and then I've got some holes at the bottom that may be used for shaping the mask or uh, if somebody wanted to incorporate uh, bungee cords, I think that they could be used for that too. Okay, so I am gonna be using our full spectrum laser here. Uh, and so I need to go from Adobe Illustrator into the Retina Engrave software. Um, I get, did put in a box so that uh, it's easier to line up. Uh, and I'm gonna be cutting this on a 12 by 12 sheet. And so I've got that set up in here. I don't want the box actually cut, so I've turned the, uh, the red outer border to zero passes and um, the black inner lines to cut. Uh, at 20 speed and 100% power. And so um, I will run a border check here. And it looks like it's staying on the sheet, which is great. We've got the vent going and the pump. And so let's go ahead and cut this. So once we have our sheet cut, I'm going to put the sheet into our t-shirt heat press and uh, set it at 275 Fahrenheit for 30 seconds. Right, so just put it in for a while there. And this is where I'm going to try to mold this to the to about the these old 3D print filter um, filament cartridges and. Initial form and bend in there. And then I'm going to use the zip ties. Well, it's still somewhat flexible. Try to get an even more particular bend here. So not the most elegant demonstration of how I wanted to do this, but 
Um, basically, you get the idea, trying to put this under tension while it's still warm. And has more flexibility to it. So you can see that we got the general shape we wanted, even if that was a pretty ugly process. So it shouldn't be that ugly. Um, you can come up probably with a quick way to do that and just tension it so that it um, gets the, the type of curve you want. Um, what I'm using here is just a webbing belt that I have, that I've had for years and years. Um, so it's just one inch webbing and I am going to loop the webbing through and then uh, I can use this in a similar way um, and I can set this up with whatever you know amount of tightness or tension that I want. Um, again there are these smaller holes down on the bottom if you wanted to use a, some other cord or something like that to get that uh, tightened up around the neck or something like that. So I know this is definitely not professional grade, but uh, pretty easily you can take a sheet of acrylic and form it into something that might be useful as a face mask. It at least is going to protect against um, germs and anything coming toward the face or fluids. And so uh, this is version one, uh, and if it's useful, again, good luck with it. I will share the files uh, below so you don't have to do that yourself, but uh, hopefully this works. I, I really hope no one ever needs to use these, but just in case they do, uh, it's pretty easy to make these and get them out to the folks who need them.